hello there. I'm Peter Marsh, an instructional coach from Round Rock ISD. Today I'm here to teach you another social skills lesson. Today's lesson, sharing with others. Once again, working on a social skill, like sharing with others, is something that you can practice, whether you're in elementary school, like Purple Sage Elementary, or middle school, like Cedar Valley Middle School, or high school, like Round Rock High School. With this video, we're going to show examples of how to share items with others incorrectly and how to share items with others the correct way. This is me just finishing my swing that I built for my kids. I was thinking this will occupy them during quarantine. They'll be able to share this swing. There couldn't be any possible problems with them sharing this swing at all. This isn't any kind of foreshadowing for this video. When it comes to sharing with others, for step one, you want to let the other person use the item first. So if you wanted to use an Xbox, but then you notice that your brother or sister wanted to use the Xbox as well, you would just say, go ahead, you use it first. For step two, you can then ask the person if you can use that item later. So let's say that you wanted to use your parent's laptop so that you could have a Zoom meeting with a friend, but your parents wanted to use the laptop at the same time too. Well, if you followed step one, you'd let them use the laptop first, but then when you let them use it, you can say, hey, is it okay if I use the laptop after you use it? For step three, when you get to use the item, then you let the person know that they can have the item when you're done with it. The swing is mine for the rest of the night. No Clementines. During this time, when we're all social distancing, it can be a real challenge to share things with others. As long as we practice a social skill, we can get better at it. Please stay safe. Thank you.